Talk about a cruel crime. Vandals tore through a tombstone decorated for a Bellevue woman's baby. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Megan Matthews has a story of kindness that helped comfort a woman's grief. New at 10. Jenna Gravesite is the only place one family has to celebrate a little boy's birthday. When a mother found it trashed, what was left behind restored her belief in kindness. I miss him every day. I wonder who he'd be every day, and it's hard. Almost every day, Michelle Skillings visits her son. When I need to clear my mind, I will come up here, and there's a bench down there, and I will just sit. It's a peaceful spot where Braden Skillings rests at the Bellevue Cemetery. He died just before seven weeks old to SIDS. Braden would have turned six on August 28th. The balloons were there, and there were um, flowers, and there were other balloons, and um, there were some matchbox cars. To celebrate his memory, Michelle, her two sons, family, and friends decorated his gravesite. But two days later, a heart wrenching find. So to come and to see it like this with nothing um, isn't fun. <laughs> it's hard, it's very hard. It just makes you wonder who would do that. Vandals trashed little Braden's site. Toy cars gone, flowers gone. A teddy bear gone, but something else caught Michelle's eye. It was definitely um, touching because it takes something that is so horrible and makes you not feel so bad about it. A note taped to a cross. Young vandals did this last night. I reported it to the cemetery people. I feel so sorry. With a $20 bill, but someone had noticed the vandalism and wanted to make it right. So it was really touching and really awesome, too, to be able to go, oh my God, I can't believe somebody did that. Michelle doesn't know who left it, but the act of kindness touched her heart. It meant more than words to her. You hear the pay it forwards all the time, um, and it definitely was a good lesson in doing that and just genuine act of kindness that we can never say thank you for. It means so much more than just this. Michelle has no idea who would have done this. She believes the vandals could be young teens. Michelle also doesn't know who left the note. But she says she can't say thank you enough. Live in the studio tonight, Megan Matthews, KMTV Action 3 News.